What's up, guys? It's your boy V coming back to you with another cool little update video. And uh, I know we had 35 gallon tank in the last video, but now we got the 55 gallon tank completely cycled, planted, and all uh, fished out. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, get some close ups. Let's go over some of the fish we got in here. I got uh, two jewels, as you can see. I also got two blue tiger parrot fish. There is one right there. And um, I have two pink convicts. And uh, I actually got to pair up that blue that blue uh, tiger parrot and that pink convict or a pair. The blue is a female and the pink is a male. And uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna have some eggs in here pretty soon. That's their little home. But um, also got some mollies in here. And I know that's pretty unheard of, but they actually live pretty pretty fine with the with the cichlids they do pretty good in here and they all as you can see they're very comfortable they're down there grazing doing what they do nobody's bothering them you know i got the two fire mouths in here as well and they do what they do that's the other pink convict cichlid and that's the other blue tiger parrot look at that blue the blue is just showing crazy right now that's insane but um we also got a, a white molly in the back you can see him back there cleaning. I got 12, well, I believe it's nine. Nine Stardust Mollies. That's what these gold ones are down here. These guys are doing pretty good. Uh, what do I got? I got a dwarf Garmy up there pecking around on some wood. And I also have, um, it's a, a variation of, oh, there he is right there. It's not a bristle nose sucker fish, but it's it's similar. I forget the name, but it's a striped sucker fish. I have that black convict that you can see strolling around in the back over there. And so I believe I believe that's it. And so and so and as far as the aquascape, I got um two grassy looking plants right here covering the the little hideout pot. You know, and got some smaller grass plants in the front of that. I got a, a fern here that's already producing baby ferns. I got some Amazon swords. I have three of these. I got to get in here and clean these up, trim them up a little bit, you know, make them look nice. Uh, I forget the name of this plant right here, but they're really nice. They, they took very fast and they're growing pretty good. I got two more swords over there doing pretty good i also have another little carpet plant you know i guess that's like you know the welcome home carpet mat for these two and i got a little bit more grass over there and so these are all live plants they're all doing pretty good the fish don't bother them i don't know if it's because they're too small or they're just not interested but they have not bothered them much every once in a while i'll wake up and i have like one floating like that but that's 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 like once a week if that they really don't mess with them. They like to eat some of the dead leaves. But other than that, they don't mess with them a lot. And so, this is the 55. I got two running filters on there. I got a 75 gallon filter right there and I have another 75 gallon filter right there. So on the 55, I've got 150 gallons of moving water. And so all of them are happy. You know, I don't have to do as many water changes as I used to with the 35 gallon because I have the live plants. But um, that's pretty much it. I guess I'll give you an update on this tank when these guys get big enough to, I guess, eat the mollies. And so once that starts happening, then I guess I'll do another update on the tank. But as you guys can see, they're all coexisting and living in here very peacefully and happy. And so, uh, Give these guys a like, a comment, and uh, subscribe for your boy. I'll see you next time.